It's time now for the PHL New News Report. It is Friday afternoon, February 20th, 2015. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. We are here at 12 noon. News and lines here. And our top story at 12 noon here on this Friday afternoon here is... The Obama administration has revealed Friday that it sent about 800,000 health care customers a tax form containing the wrong information and asked them to hold off on found at 2014 taxes. In London, UK police appealed for help on Friday to find three teenage girls who are missing from their homes in London and believed to be making their way to Syria. Jeb Bush has hired one of the Republican Party's top communications pros who is experienced in the art of political attacks, Tim Miller, American Rats, and the Super PAC that does opposition research on Hillary Rodden Clinton and the other Democrat will join. Takata, a big maker of airbags, is being fined by the U.S. government for failing to cooperate in a probe of its potentially deadly airbags. The company says it's looking in a report that its SIM card encryption keys were hacked by the NSA and the British surveillance agency GCHQ. Major League Baseball announced the Face of Play initiatives. Pro Russian rebels load ammunition onto a truck near Devilsev on Tuesday as Merkel clings to a Ukrainian deal as truce suffers setbacks. In Cairo, the Islamic State group upshoot. In Libya, has claimed responsibility for a series of deadly suicide bombings on Friday that killed at least 45 Iraq in eastern town under the control of the country country's elected government. In Bachi, Nigeria, Boko Haram militants fleeing a Nigerian army offensive killed 21 people on Friday and attacks near the northern village of Chiba, close to where the rebels abducted more than 200 schoolgirls last year, a military source said. In Mogadishu, Somalia, around 10 people were killed Friday when a dozen more were wounded, including several government officials and lawmakers when two explosions ripped throughout the entrance of a hotel, the Somali capital official said. A former assistant prosecutor for the Hundred Island County Prosecutor's Office has been in attempts to obtain grand records of a grand jury in the case of the links to Governor Chris Christie. Witness testified from Maureen McDonald and sentencing. Arctic air plunged parts of the southeast and Milag into deep freezes and broke records on Friday as a cold record snapped, fall, snow, and ice storms earlier in the week, and weather forecasters warned that more sleet and freezing rain will be possible. A poll vortex might be shattering record lows across the eastern United States on Friday, but these red pandas playing in the snow at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Gardens this week will shatter even the coldest of hearts included. Great Prime Minister Alexis Disperse. Certain that the Eurozone will back loan and Merkel demands more. The announcement Thursday by America's largest private employer, Walmart, that will give half a million employees at McDonald's up right. could add to the pressure that a host of other low-wage employers at Walmart are already facing to pay their workers more. Apple's nearly four decades as a company has been filled with repeated disruption of otherwise settling industries, leaving many to wonder if the world's most valuable company may be prepared to upend the auto industry with an Apple car. American Horror Story actor Ben Wolf has struck by a car on Thursday night, TMZ said. White Twitter's Aquaman photo has Batman vs. Superman fans freaking out as director Zack Snyder leaked the photo of Jason Barnoa as a redesign Aquaman. How will it affect the new plot? A new study says sea creatures fall a hypothesis called Coke Thrill, which states that Atlantic animals will get heavier as time goes on. Dark matter, how does it work? Scientists are still aren't completely sure if they only know if it exists due to its gravitational effect. U.S. health regulators have known since at least 2009 that the medical devices at the center of the superbug outbreak at UCLA can transmit lethal infections but have not recommended any new safety requirements. In Berlin, a World Health Organization has approved a quick test for Ebola that will dramatically cut the time that it takes to determine what reasonable accuracy whether someone is infected with a deadly virus. 
Signs of total resistance into a key anti-malarial drug has been detected in a large swath of Myanmar's border with India raised in fears by scientists who are aimed to eliminate the killer disease. Take a look at the stock market report at 12.05, Dow 18,000.19, up 14.42, SP 500. 29.5.81, up 1, SP 500, 29.5.81, down 1.64, and NASA. 49.20.32, up 3.62. European markets stacked 11,050.64 up 48.70. FTSC 6,915.20 up 26.30. CAC 40, 4830.90 down 2.38. Asian markets decades 18,332.30 up 67.51. Shanghai 3247.43 up 25.07. HSI 24832.08 up 47.20. Oil markets 50.73 down 43 cents. Rent 60.28 down. Up seven cents and natural gas two point nine five one up one one seven thousand points. In the gold markets twelve oh six point eight down eighty cents, silver sixteen dollars thirty five cents down three one thousand point and copper two point five eight seven five down three two five thousand points. In the bonds, US ten year yield two point oh six oh nine percent down five one thousand point. German ten year yield zero point three six four percent down eight thousand point and Germany's ten year yield zero point three eight four percent down seven thousand point. FX bonds, European US dollar 1.1358, down 8,000 point US dollar, Germany Zen 118.70, down 24 cents, and Great Britain pound, US dollar 1.5378, down 34,000 point. In Akazak, New Jersey, in Bergen County, MOS involved motor vehicle exit at Central Avenue and 7th Avenue. Fire Department right on scene of a two car motor vehicle exit, including member of services with an airbag deployment, EMS en route. And in Jersey City, New Jersey, in Hudson, water main brake traffic advisor in Route 1 and 9 at Tunnel Avenue as Tunnel Avenue northbound, close to all traffic at Costin Avenue due to water main brake. Heavy traffic on the southbound lanes backed up in Route 3 in North Bergen and seek alternate route. Take a look at sports news here. The Daytona 500 race drivers cover the most. It's not the most difficult to navigate, not the most physically demanding, but it is a race. Your hero runners of Daytona 500 will be racing on Sunday. In Miami, to most South Florida sports fans, scarred by incompetence of the over pro franchise over the past two decades, Pat Riley long achieved superhero status. In the wake of a shocking announcement from the Raiders and Chargers that the teams currently have proved to joint stadium plan in Carson, California, some initial infer. Mention is trickling out. And tonight, the Boston Bruins will be in St. Louis, taking on St. Louis Bulls game time 8 o'clock, which is 7 o'clock in St. Louis. And the Celtics will be out in Sacramento tonight, taking on Sacramento Kings game time 10 o'clock, which is 7 o'clock Sacramento time. Peter Chell News Times now 12 08. Time and a half for a travel report here at Smooth Sailing and Nightways by Ways of New England there on this. Friday and slow going on 24 from Randolph down to Route 128 from 139 doing an accident on Randolph accident 24 southbound before 139 exit 20. Stop and go traffic from Route 28 and Route 1 Washington Street and accident Fox Sports Specs in the there. In it and Route 3 on the southbound side slow from Bedford down to Route 120 in Burlington here. Route 495 south accident in Tewksbury and 95 on the southbound accident in Boxford so expects some delays here. As 45 staff and slowing down for Tewksbury stretch. And 95 on the south on side, slow from 146 down for downtown Providence here. And the morning Sagamore Bridge is on Milan Fine and the Jamestown and Newport Bridge is on Milan Fine. As otherwise, it is a smooth sailing commute here on this Friday afternoon here. And we got 95 up in Newburyport here. A slow around the Newburyport stretch due to an accident on 95 step on in Newburyport. So expect some delays here. Peter Chell News on 1209 and the MBTA will have limited rail and bus service available on Friday as. And now it's on the weather here. Our congregations here in North Massachusetts here at 1210 on this.
Friday afternoon, 11 degrees is the uh, temperature here in Norton with a humidity 40%, wind speed west about 14 gusts and 29 miles per hour, parameter 30 inches, 2 point about 9 below, visibly 10 miles and a wind chill 5 below zero here. Current conditions, rain in the region here, it is 11 degrees out in Boston here, it's 9 above in Fitchburg and Bedford, it's 10 in Lawrence and Gloucester, 11 in Beverly, 6 above in Worcester and Sturbridge, 5 in Webster, 13 in Milford, it's 10 in Norwood, 11 in Taunton, 9 above in New Bedford, it's 12 in Plymouth and Promise Town and in Chatham and Nantucket, 9 above in Falmouth, 10 in Martha's Vineyard, 10 above in Block on 10 in Westway, 9 in Providence, 10 in Smithfield, it's 11 in New York City, 9 in Islip, 11 in Montauk, 9 in Bridgeport, New Haven, it's 7 in Denbury and Waterbury, 10 in Meriden, 13 in Hartford, 10 in Winslow, 9 above in Springfield, it's 7 in Amherst, 6 in Athol, 10 in Greenfield, 2 above in North Amherst and Pittsfield, 5 above in Albany, 8 above in Saratoga Springs, 1 above in Mainton, 1 below in Brattleboro, 1 above in Rutland, 5 in Lebanon, New Hampshire, 7 in Keene, New Hampshire, 5 in Jeff, New Hampshire, it's 5 above in Laconia, New Hampshire, it's 7 in Concord, New Hampshire, 12 in Manchester, New Hampshire, 10 in Nashua, New Hampshire, 14 in Possible, New Hampshire, and 12 above in Portland, Maine, near. Take a look at the service map. It shows a cold front stretching up to Alberta and a stationary front in eastern Alberta merging with a cold front from Saskatchewan stretching up to North Dakota merging with a pink front from northeastern North Dakota up to western Ontario and a warm front from the, the eastern Dakotas. Dan from Nebraska down from northeastern Kansas and a stationary front from Wyoming stretching it in for eastern Colorado. Dan for Texas and stretching down for Gulf of Mexico here. You got a front by Dan for central Utah and a front by Dan for the California coastline here and another front by Dan for the Gulf of California here. And another front of mine from Western Texas stretching in North Central Mexico here. And we got another front of mine off the Carolina coastline here. And a front of mine from Eastern Ontario stretching down for Southern Quebec, North Maine, and up to Western New Brunswick. And a pink front down for Eastern Quebec down for Newfoundland here. And a low pressure in Eastern Quebec here. And low pressure in Eastern Wyoming, Northeastern Colorado, and West Central portions of Texas here. And around the San Francisco Bay area, a low pressure here. While we got high pressure in Western Colorado, Arizona and Mexico and north central portions of Mexico here and eastern portions of Kentucky here. Three above in Detroit, one above in Pittsburgh, twelve above in Washington, DC, twenty-one in Atlanta, Georgia, it's fifty-two in Miami, Florida, fifty-seven in New Orleans, Louisiana, fifty-two in Dallas, Texas, six down in Brandsville, Texas, six three in El Paso, twenty in St. Louis, nineteen in Kansas City, four above in Chicago, twenty one in Omaha, Nebraska, twelve in Minneapolis, St. Paul, forty in Billings, Montana, thirty five. Now, 33 in Great Falls, Montana. It's 40 in Seattle, 56 in San Francisco, 57 in Los Angeles. It's 57 in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's 45 in Salt Lake City, 34 in Denver, Colorado. It's 42 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and 61 out in Phoenix, Arizona. Here. Okay, let's take a look at our radar situation here. It shows spotty snow showers on eastern portion of Maine, down for western New Brunswick, and search around eastern portions of Quebec here. Snow showers in central portions of Nova Scotia and some rain and snow showers around eastern portions of New Brunswick here and some rain and snow showers around southeastern portions of Newfoundland here. Some rain showers around eastern Texas stretching to northern Louisiana and down for west central portions of Mississippi down for southern Arkansas and down for coastal Louisiana and some sleet showers around northeastern portions of Arkansas down for northern Mississippi. Snow showers in north central Alabama stretching in central Tennessee, western Kentucky, stretching up western Indiana, down for eastern Illinois, down for southern Wisconsin, and all Wisconsin and stretching much to northern Wisconsin up to northeastern Minnesota, and some snow showers in southern western portions of Ontario, stretching down for southern Manitoba, Saskatchewan, down for Alberta, down for eastern portions of British Columbia, and some snow showers around north central and northwestern Colorado, stretching down for Wyoming, around Montana, and for North Dakota, North Face and portions of South Dakota. Rain showers in the southwestern portions of South Dakota, now for northwestern and central portions of Nebraska here. And some rain showers in the northwestern Mexico. And some rain showers in west central portions of Washington State. And rain showers in east central portions of Washington State. And rain and sleet around north central Idaho here. And some snow showers in east central portions of Alberta. All right, take a look at satellite loop beer, and it shows a lot of clouds coming to much of northern New England, switching out of Quebec and around the Canadian Maritimes here, 
and land crowds from Mississippi and Alabama stretching the name for the Mid Mississippi Valley and some dominance and central plain states and around the quarters and stretching out northern and central Rockies and up at Idaho. And land clouds coming to much of Southern California and Nevada, down for Arizona, and down for New Mexico, and down for northwestern portions of Mexico here. And line of clouds from western British Columbia, stretching in, voluntarily, and down for Michigan here, and around the Great Lakes here. Take a look at our forecast discussion around the country here. All right. Take a look at the forecast discussion around the region here. A ridge out west and trail out to the east. Bitterly cold on Friday for eastern United States and warmer and developing storm system over the over the southern. United States here. The overall weather pattern for at the end of the week will continue to be featured with a pronounced and anomalous upper level trail over the eastern half of the country and a big upper level ridge by the western states and it still keep most of the west coast of the Great Basin and the desert southwest warmer than drier than normal here and the central and eastern parts of the United States much colder than normal here. Over the eastern half of the nation we all know that it's been quite cold over the past week as any of the polar vortexes lead into the coldest weather of this recent cold spell created a deep layer of bitterly cold air along with gusty winds and this was a widespread zero sub-zero. Overnight lows Thursday night extended from Illinois to West Virginia and numerous records low were set. Highs and Friday were struggling to get out of the teens from the Ohio Valley to the Midland region after Friday temperatures are forecast to the moderate and get closer on Friday averages. On February as a storm system approaches from the west here. And a participation department, a development service flow over the Southern Plains will tap moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and result in expanding area of rain, freeze rain, and sleet and snow from the deep south to the Ohio Valley by Friday night. Another sleet and freeze rain event expected from Missouri to northern Georgia before a change over the rain happens later on Saturday. This will reach the east coast by Saturday with its snow changing to a wintry mix and the eventually the rain for many areas of the Atlantic states. Elsewhere, up, up slope for near the eastern side of the Rockies will lead. The slight snow for the region on Friday and Saturday here. And take a look at our forecast discussion around the region here. High pressure builds over to New England on today and chips offshore Saturday morning as low pressure moving up from the summer plains will spread snow at our area by late Saturday as both of this. Precipitation should be over by Sunday afternoon as the Arctic cold front will usher in really cold air Monday into Tuesday. We are watching the potential of never winter storm to that at Wednesday, but it is far from a certain year. And new three months at 6 p.m. this evening, 10 a.m. update. Expired the wind chill headlines and followed up with a special weather statement in collaboration with the Yefton New York Weather Forecast Office noted that the sub zero wind chills that are expected to continue throughout the west of the day here. Cold pull off is with a close up low across the northeast currents and unstable profile across the region, but which are winds are being allowed to mix down to the surface as brisk west winds gusting around 20 25 knots as high warm in the teens. Saving grace that this brutal cold is the fact that it should remain mostly sunny except for Nantucket where ocean effects stratus will remain a nuisance. Wind should diminish towards the later half of the day as high pressure builds from the west. As we take a look at the weather notes, Boston up to 14 straight days under 32 degrees. Third place. Today we'll make it 15 top percent place in record for Boston for straight days under 32 degrees, 16 days, and then February 3rd, 1961 also occurred on a Friday. That day. And ton. Today's highs, we will see temperatures in the teens for much of the region with some single-digit readings around the Berkshires of Massachusetts, up in Vermont, and up in upstate New York here. And a weekend storm, a cumulative snow change in the rain, late. A cumulative snow change in rain, late Saturday night and Sunday. A time and participation types, snow overspreads southern New England on Saturday afternoon from west to east.
and along the coastal plain, including Boston and Providence, snow changing to freezing rain. Around or after midnight on Saturday night, then to rain on Sunday along and north of I-84 in Connecticut and the Mass Pike, I-495 in Massachusetts, mostly all snow up front. Saturday night with pockets of freezing rain, possible after midnight, changing to mix snow and freezing rain during the Sunday before ending here. Snowfall amounts are ranging from 1 to 2 inches near the coast to 4 to 6 inches long and northwest of I-84 in Mass Pike and I-495. Rainfall amounts in the coastal plain after changeover, a half to 1 inch of rain and freezing amounts are freezing rain. Less than 0.10 inch. Snow covered roads are the potential hazards. Areas of dense fog late Saturday night and the Sunday along the coast. Poor drainage street flooded near the coast due to clogged drains and potential exaggeration and roof collapses, especially near the coast. And a 30 day snowfall across the northeast. Boston, Massachusetts, 93.2 inches occurred 30 days ending on Thursday, and Worcester, Massachusetts, 90 inches. February 19th, 2015 years old. So Boston is fourth, Worcester in fifth place. Okay, how's those weather outlook? Day one tonight, wind chill advisory. Day two for seven, Friday for Wednesday. A wind chill advisory and snow will develop Saturday afternoon continues Saturday evening with a few inches of accumulation possible. The snow likely changed to rain Saturday night before ending sometime during the day on Sunday. The concern is that any amount of rain could exaggerate on growing roof issues with the deep snow covered in place. I'd have a rather brutally cold air the need for wind chill headlines expected Monday night and a Tuesday morning air. The rain chance of a coastal storm Tuesday night and Wednesday if that system does not pass too far offshore there will be I checked for additional significant snowfall coverage is very low for that time period here, as one model will miss us, another model, the European model will get us a lot of snow, but we are morning in the models here. Okay, this afternoon, Seth got high about 26. Okay, for this afternoon, Seth got high about 16 degrees, wind chill about as low as 2 below, west wind about 9 11 Moscow as high as 26 miles per hour for tonight. Most of the coast got low about 2 below, west wind about 3 to 7 miles per hour for Saturday. A chance of snow after 3 p.m. Big Chris clouds behind her 31 degrees. Wind chill about as low as 2 below. Come wind becoming south. Ran 5 to 7 miles per hour in the morning. Winds could cut size 20 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 4 percent. New snow accumulation less than an half an inch possible. For Saturday night, snow before midnight, then rain and snow. Possibly mixed with freeze rain before between midnight and 1 a.m. Then rain. Possibly mixed with freeze rain after 1 a.m. Low around 31 degrees. South about 6 to 8 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 1 percent. No snow ratio, one to two inches possible. Uh, Sunday, rain and freeze rain before 10 a.m. Then a chance of rain between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Then a chance of rain and freeze rain after 4 p.m. Class sky about 43 degrees. West wind about 5 to 7 miles per chance of rain. 70 percent. Saturday night, slight chance of rain and snow and freeze rain before 10 p.m. Then a slight chance of snow between 10 p.m. and midnight. Most of class sky low at 50 degrees. Chance of rain is 20 percent. But Monday, most of the podcast sky about 21, low about zero degrees. But Tuesday, most of the South Carolina with Iowa 21 degrees. Tuesday, chance of snow, most of the South Carolina low about 30 degrees, chance of precipitation 30%. But Wednesday, chance of snow, most of the South Carolina about 33, low about 13 degrees, chance of precipitation 30%. And for Thursday, most of the South Carolina about 26 degrees. Peter, what a phrase of the day! A freezing, a chilly Friday attack. Peter, you have a good day with good passages. See you for 5 o'clock report. Have a good day!